Humble Bundle Monthly is changing to Humble Bundle Choice. Humble Bundle Choice will show you all the games being unlocked this month up front and you will be able to pick X games out of 10 depending on how much you pay. They have this wonderfully little nice looking page over here but I just wanted to talk about this because it rubs me the wrong way. If you're a current subscriber, you will still get 10 out of 10 games for $12.99, provided that you never cancel your subscription. What are your options if you do cancel though? $14.99 for 3 games or $19.99 for 9 games, provided that you want games and not access to the trove. As you get the good deal only until you cancel your subscription, over time there will be less and less people able to pay $12.99 for their Humble Monthly. Now, worth noting is that if you pause a month, it seems that you can still stay with the deal? I'm not too sure because their only frequently asked question about this is that if you are paused on the current Humble Monthly, you will still be converted to the classic plan, so I imagine you can still keep the classic plan if you keep on pausing a month. That doesn't count as a cancel. Now, that being said, even if I kept on pausing for years, due to a change in my payment method or anything else, I might actually have to cancel excluding me from the deal in the future so over time the amount of people that can pay $12.99 will drop now another issue with this is that even if you don't account for the price hike you see the premium thing the classic thing premium still gets less games than the classic you cannot get the same value as you got in the classic if you can no longer get the classic plan. My question is, why aren't the premium and classic equal on every term except for the price? And now there's also the basic plan. I mean, there's also a plan even lower than that, but it doesn't really give you games, so we're not gonna talk about it. I suppose if you just want access to the trove, you might be satisfied with that. I know that it is priced with what it is priced because the idea is that people will choose the most expensive games. But even then, you only get three games and you pay more than what Humble Monthly subscribers are paying now. That seems really wrong to me. Why not at least make this tier $10? That way it would be $2 less than what people are paying right now. They would be getting a lot less stuff in comparison, but at least it would be cheaper. <sighs> I appreciate the transparency and it no longer being a mystery bundle. I don't really like loot boxes, mystery bundles, I'm kind of against these kind of things. However, I do not understand why every plan did not just get more expensive but also worse as to what the current subscribers are getting by far. Especially if you look at basic, that's still two dollars more than what we're currently paying and it gives you so much less. Come on.